we're asked to consider the function f of x equals three secant squared x minus 10 x cubed. Let big F of x be the antiderivative of f of x with big F of zero equal to three. We're asked to determine big F of x. So we'll first determine the general antiderivative of f of x by determining the indefinite integral of f of x. And then we'll determine the specific value of c since we know big F of zero equals three. This will give us the specific antiderivative we are looking for. So we first need to determine the indefinite integral of three secant squared x minus 10 x cubed. The integral of three secant squared x is equal to three times the integral of secant squared x, which is equal to tangent x plus c, but we'll leave the plus c until the very end, which gives us three tangent x. And then we have minus the integral of 10 x cubed which is equal to 10 times the integral of x cubed, which is x to the fourth divided by four, and then we have plus c. Notice we can simplify this product. 10 and four share a common factor of two. There are five twos in 10 and two twos in four, which gives us a general antiderivative of big F of x is equal to three tangent x minus five halves x to the fourth plus c. Now, since we know big F of zero is equal to three, we can determine the value of c to determine the specific antiderivative. Since we know f of zero is equal to three, if we substitute zero for x, the function value must be three, which gives us the equation three equals three times tangent zero minus five halves times zero to the fourth plus c. Tangent zero is zero, and zero to the fourth is zero. And therefore simplifying, we just get three is equal to c, which means the specific antiderivative we are looking for is big F of x is equal to three tangent x minus five halves x to the fourth plus three. I hope you found this helpful.